everybody, I'm just gonna get started right away. Japan does have lawns, so here's the thing. I don't even remember the joke, but all of a sudden, a lot of commenters are telling me, Japan doesn't have lawns. So I come out here, I correct myself, and now everybody's saying, dude, you're crazy, Japan does have lawns. Look, you guys figure it out. I've never been there, I wanna go, it's on my bucket list, but this is the last I'm gonna say about it. We talked once again about the difference in the spelling of psych. When you say to someone, psych, is it spelled P-S-Y-C-H? Or is it spelled S-I-K-E? Which is how we spelled it a couple weeks ago in, at this point in the broadcast. People feel very strongly that the correct spelling is P-S-Y-C-H and not S-I-K-E. Also, I didn't know this, S-I-K-E psych is a small stream. You guys wanna see a picture of a small stream? Psych. <laughs> um, I said that Biden tried to talk to a turkey when he was pardoning the turkeys. A bunch of you said, no, he did. <laughs> he maybe tried to have a conversation, but he definitely talked to the turkey. Apologies. Also, someone said, uh, Fauci is two years older than Biden. Why don't you make fun of him for being old? It's really just, I guess, the fact that Fauci never kind of just wandered off. <laughs> Fauci looks great for his age. And remember, it's easy to forget, he had to stand on stage when Donald Trump tried to do science. <laughs> That'll age a person. Hey, another thing I just wanna say in general as I look back on the pandemic, look, did everybody get it right from the beginning? Did Fauci make zero mistakes? Absolutely not. It's, you know, a pandemic. You're having to make decisions quick in real time. I think overall, job well done. But this is something I really wanna hammer home. Just because a doctor makes a mistake doesn't mean you're the doctor now. <laughs> oh, so this is interesting, we did, a closer look where we talked about my pillow and Mike Lindell's pillow, and there was a sound effect that played when I dropped the pillow that was very late. And I said, that's the problem of having a sound guy who's in Australia. But then a bunch of you pointed out, Australia's ahead of us. So if he was there, the sound effect would be early. So it would have been like this. <laughs> All right. We talked about Johnny Bananas. We didn't overdo it. <laughs> we talked about how Johnny Bananas' friends would often play a mean trick where they'd set him up on a blind date, he'd go to a restaurant, there'd be a, <laughs> there'd be a monkey and lipstick. Well, we showed a picture once again, and this is a problem we've been getting in. Year-long problem, which is we showed a chimpanzee in lipstick, which is an ape, not a monkey. We took the photo with a monkey, and then after the fact, found out the monkey was non-union. And in the, in the 11th hour, the best we could do was a chimpanzee. Kenny was the one who knew the monkey. <laughs> on you. Remember, he was like, I've seen that monkey before crossing, <laughs> cross the picket line. <laughs> difference, monkeys have tails. That's how you know the difference between an ape and a monkey, and this is a story I, I did not hear. I am not friends with any chimpanzees. I have a friend who's friends with a chimpanzee. He told me the story about this chimpanzee who's on a date with another chimpanzee, and I guess it's going great, right? And they go back to the chimpanzee's apartment, 
and the other chimpanzee uh, goes into the bathroom, and the other chimpanzee is thinking, I'm gonna get it on, and then uh, the other chimpanzee comes out, takes off the robe, and the first chimpanzee sees the tail. And that's all you need to know about. I was told, I did this for six, and someone said, don't do, don't, that's what bad. I don't know the right way to do six. But there was, I guess, I've seen deleted scenes from um, Inglorious Bastards. You know, because there's that giveaway scene. Because he goes, he goes uh, Drie Glasen, and that's the giveaway, that he's not German. And I guess in the original, it's Drie Glasen, ein Zeck. Jalapeno poppers. <laughs> I don't know, guys. We talked about uh, President Sandberg, how Obama's a good comedian, but none of the comedians I know would be good presidents. And we showed a picture of President Sandberg, but he was a little too neat looking. It was like modern Sandberg. I wanted it to look a little bit more like the doofy Sandberg. Um, and then we did a lot of Sandberg material. And I'm, you know, I bet Andy saw it, right? I mean, we talked about him on TV in a closer look. And if he, you know, if not him, certainly you would think one of his friends would say, hey, saw you on, let's find out. It's been a while since we've called Andy. Nope. Straight to unavailable. She's doing a spelling bee. Uh, we talked about flat earthers and are there flat mooners? And from what I can tell, no, there's not a flat mooner society. So I organized and we had our first meeting because I like the idea that one of the celestial bodies would be flat. I think that's a fun thing to sit around with like-minded people and talk about, right? <laughs> I, everybody likes the idea that they live somewhere where they can walk to a point and then be like, <laughs> I mean, who wouldn't want that? Anyway, and I think flat uh, mooning is off to a great start. I guess some flat earthers think the moon is a projection onto a dome, which would work. <laughs> but flat mooners, we're off to a great start. We, are, we do hope to you know, increase our ranks. And one of the nice things about flat mooners is, uh, and one of the, the hard, fast rules is we're not gonna let it be a gateway to anti-Semitism. We're gonna get together, we're gonna talk about how the moon's flat and nothing else, okay? If somebody all of a sudden says, hey, you know, if you believe that, I got something, we're gonna be like, no! Don't you have a game tonight? Um, also, a lot of people, because I said the moon's flat, they made like very uh, juvenile jokes about how I have a flat ass. <laughs> no, sir. But that did, uh, you know, I did want to have a little bit of body positivity after I engaged with that. And um, you guys remember when I didn't, when I wore my tank top. Um, <laughs> some people said, oh, oh, that, I guess that proves Seth doesn't have any tattoos. I actually do, but if I know, and this happens to a lot of people in showbiz who get tattoos, you have to have them covered with makeup um, before you go on stage. But here's, um, if you want to know, I think, Amongst the jackals, I'm happy to share. Um, I do have one tattoo. There you go. <laughs> hey, um, Rhaenyra's dragon is a female dragon, Cyrax. We, we did say Trump thought it was a he. I do think Trump would think all dragons are boys. I'm not saying that's right. <laughs> The worst part is, in or I can't, it's so hard to tell them to stop doing it. <laughs> to get them to stop now, I would have had to call them yesterday. <laughs> if 
By the way, someone wrote, uh, there's so many awkward pauses filled with fake laughter, it just becomes off-putting. This show is so hit or miss. Dude. <laughs> that was, before we decided on the name Corrections, we were gonna call this hit or miss. <laughs> we said uh, Santa Claus was 2,000 years old, and uh, a bunch of you who, um, my girls, <laughs> think he's real. <laughs> We're like, no, he's based on Saint Nick, who was like born in, in, uh, in 280 AD. And also somebody said, if he's 2000, the picture you use doesn't look, at most looks 100. So we did, we went to our graphics department, we worked really hard. We're like, what do you think a 2000 year old Santa would look like? And I think that's, I think that's a... <laughs> it's exciting. Uh, holiday movies, you know, we don't, our kids don't watch a bunch, uh, you know, we don't have a lot of screen time, but when we travel for the holidays, you know, we're on the plane going to see their grandparents, we will let them watch a holiday film. And so I've been spending a lot of time trying to pick the perfect holiday film. And I'm hoping it goes better than last year when I flew with my boys, we decided to watch A Charlie Brown Christmas, which is a classic film, endures over the years. I downloaded it on my iPad, sitting with my two sons. I've got one of them on either side of me, set up the iPad once we take off. I waited until we took off. I did not have my electronic device off, on, excuse me, during takeoff, because I did that once and the plane crashed, so I didn't, <laughs> I'm not gonna make that mistake again. So I have my iPad out, you don't want this little stand, and, uh, I was just, I, I don't even know if my, I'm like worried my kids are not gonna want to watch anything on a plane again, because the minute it started, the stewardess ran, ran down the aisle and slammed my iPad uh, face down. And we were all like, and I guess there was someone on the flight who was allergic to peanuts. I asked Shoemaker, <laughs> I asked Shoemaker what his favorite Christmas movie was, and he goes, The Grinch before he switched. <laughs> Don't get him started on The Grinch. He's like, he didn't have the guts to finish the job. He blinked. Someone wrote, I want to meet the graphics department to see if they're the way Seth makes them out to be. Well, they want to meet you too, and they're down for everything. <laughs> I looked at one of their Tinder profiles recently, and the only thing it had on it was turnoffs none. <laughs> this breaks my heart. My mom was here the last time we did this, and I was talking about the French Revolution. And I, I said, you know, people, les poissons, French for people, and everyone on YouTube is saying, you actually said poisson, fish. Which I'm like, no, I didn't. I know what I said. I know poisson. I know person. And then someone basically says, and I know you did because YouTube agrees with me. They you lower thirded me poissons. Am I not making enough money for you, YouTube? I'm genuinely curious. <laughs> Allergic to peanuts. <laughs> hey, um, you know, I originally said, the, uh, you know, we were talking about the French Revolution and, uh, and I said 19th century and everybody's like, no, 18th century. But of course in Les Mis, which is what we were talking about, it was the 19th century because what they do in France, they just keep having them. There's a lot of them. And um, there were uprisings in the 1830, 1832, 1848. I was referring, Les Mis is about the July Revolution in 1830. And that was the one where I was talking about how they stacked up all the furniture. And that was the most, I was making the argument that was the most furniture that was ever stacked in an armed conflict. But I was corrected. The most furniture 
stacked in an armed conflict. Never mind. I feel like I feel like this crowd today isn't reacting to the jokes the way they deserve. <laughs> the war that had the most furniture stacking took place in the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> Hey, we, I kind of, um, I gave through a little shade to intermittent fasting last week. A lot of you uh, said intermittent fasting has been uh, done wonders for you and has helped your health problems. And so I want to apologize for saying that intermittent fasting is a diet that doesn't work. I stand corrected, but maybe be a bit more intermittent when you bring it up at parties. <laughs> Teen Wolf. We talked about Obama when he was seven trying to decide if vampires or werewolves were cool. And a lot of you said, he referenced Teen Wolf in that argument. A lot of you said when he was seven, it was 1968, Teen Wolf hadn't come out yet. But a lot of you don't know Teen Wolf is, not, is based on a real dude <laughs> who was on the 1968, which now the math works out perfectly, Shoemaker, <laughs> was on the 1968 U.S. men's Olympic basketball team. I think I know which one he is. I'm trying to... <laughs> there he is. Um, hey, we had this art card in... Uh, well, not art card. We had this art in... Um, uh, at this point in the broadcast, and we said Waldo's in it. And we asked you to pause it and look for stuff. And... A bunch of you said Waldo's not in it. Well, I will tell you now that Waldo is in it. A very little bit of Waldo is in it. And if you can find it, circle it, and mail it into us, you get nothing. <laughs> I forgot, this came in a while ago. Lovely letter um, from a man named Phil. Um, he asked his son to design a prototype for the corrections mug while we were waiting for ours. So this was uh, this summer, actually. Um, uh, my kid worked very hard and said that they drew your face very accurately. I'll be happy to send people at NBC the file with the design if you decide to mass produce this. Um, here is their corrections mug. And uh, we do appreciate your son's hard work, and we're going to send him something, a cease and desist letter. <laughs> you guys, I talked about the fact that I was going to, I felt bad that I put us in a legal situation where all the foreign jackals who sent in postcards were then going to, uh, just going to check real quick if Sandberg said anything, and uh, it's hard no. Um, let me see. You guys aren't, you, anybody have anything to do? Great. The thing, I'm kind of dragging it out because we've got um, our holiday party tonight and <laughs> try to keep the staff here as long as possible because I don't want them to get too <laughs> up. <laughs> so I said, I didn't want NBC to have to pay for the mugs. I'll pay for the mugs. Well, Everybody was like, oh my God, Seth's so great. I do want to stress, NBC said, we're going to pay for the mugs. But I felt bad because it was my fault. So I decided, whatever the total was, I would take that amount of money and I would give it to a charity. That way, NBC's paying for the mugs. I'm giving the money, the same amount of money to the charity. So I looked around, did some research, and I'm happy to announce that I'm writing a check to an organization that I think could really use the money, NBC. <laughs> you know what the burn is there? They have a matching program. <laughs> well.
Still over an hour to the party. I did it all. <laughs> Go home! Did anybody ever do that? So that my new sign off? What did Tracy Ullman do? Wasn't that it? Go home. <laughs> Still over an hour. <laughs> See me next week.